Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Koholoyim la, hi hawa, bahashem, hi hawa shai, bahashem, rakaha kutash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Nawaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, as you can see here, I got the, I went off into Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan was the movie. Well, um, starring um, Matt Damon and uh, Tom Hanks, a couple other big wigs is in it. But I was watching a lesson earlier today from one of the Ox, and um, you know it had to do with war, but it kind of set me off in the spirit. You know, with this movie, I remembered it, and the reason. So I, I typed in, "Why did they have to save Private Ryan? Why did Private Ryan need to be saved?" Right? Okay, so. They have a few different things in here, but let me see if I can find the one. They have it in a history channel. So they give the history, basically, of this. I, I kind of found out something new about it today. That, um, of course, this, you know, this, this, Steven Spielberg done this, this movie off of, um, another guy. Basically, you know, it was a, and they, and, and it didn't, the way that the movie went, they didn't have to run him down. All those people got killed and shot and all this other stuff to find him. He was, you know, they just knew where he was and. He wasn't even in the heat of no battle or nothing like that when they, you know, but four of the brothers, if I'm not mistaken, had died. That there was another family. All the all the boys died in a war. So they they, you know, I think the, the name of the, the guys was Sullivan's. Their last name was Sullivan's. But this particular guy from Saving Private Ryan, four of his brothers got killed, and he was the last son. So they came up with this law, you know, basically where, you know, um, I forgot what it's called. Let's see here. Because they got all the information in here. I don't want to read it all. Let me see if I can find it. But the guy's name was... Um, his name was Neelan or some shit like that. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is the reason why they pretty much wanted to save this son... It's because Esau, Edom, they do understand that your seed line goes by your dad. So had that last son had died, pretty much their lineage would have kind of died with them. Unless they had other uncles, you know, or cousins, you know, that were males. And they had to have been males, you know what I'm saying, to carry on that family um, lineage. Because I think the father and the mother were too old, you know, to have more children. But there was a first family that happened to, and, and supposedly... Everybody, you know, in America at the time was all up in arms. You know, it was a sad story that this family lost all their sons. So they ended up coming up with this hookup. I'm trying to think where it's at. I saw it in here somewhere, but it doesn't matter. They, you know, the, they had the law of the code or whatever for it. But they ended up coming here. Uh, oh, here it is right here. It says, in the, in the response to the death of the Sullivan brothers and several other sets of brothers, who had perished up to this point in the war, the U.S. War Department realized they had to act. The result is 1942 Soul Survivor Policy, later known as Directive 1315.15 Special Separations Policy for Survivorship. And, you know, I noticed that a lot of people was putting in the comment, you know what I'm saying, that he was the only son, but what they didn't realize, I didn't see anyone put into the comments that he was the last of the sons that could have carried on the lineage. That's how important the seed is. Don't think that the American army or you don't think that they didn't know that because there, there would have been no need to even save him if they wasn't thinking about him carrying on and, and, and having children himself and his children growing up to have children, his children, his children growing up to have children. You see, because that's very important. That's a that's a lineage. And when you go off into Matthew chapter chapter one, you get the lineage of Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. Or his great, 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 great grandfather, so to speak. You know, and, and he has a seed line. That's how we know that Yahweh Shai, he came from a father. His father was Joseph. Joseph and Mary had sex. He came from the root of Jesse, the seed line of, of David, man. He was the son of David. So, and, and that, 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 I wanted to bring that out. 
because that's very important to know when you come into this truth because there are going to be people out here that look like um, so-called Chinese people, so-called Japanese people, so-called, um, you know, Cambodians, damn Hawaiians, whatever, you name it. There's going to there's gonna be Israelites amongst those people that's going to be looking just like them. But if the seed line comes from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they are Israelites, you see? So that's very important to know when you come into this truth. There is no such thing as color when it comes to this real 100% truth that comes from GMS. We don't go by no colors. You can't just look at somebody and say, hey, he's a, you know, Edomite. Oh, they, you know, he's a, you know, because there's some chocolate color Edomites and there's some, um, some, some Israelites that look like um, so-called white people. Straight up, look just like damn Tom Hank or Matt Damien. And they can be Israelites because our, our people were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And... The men of our nation laid down, had sex with the women of those nations, and, and produced children or seed. The seed line comes from the father. And that's what we're about to get into. And that's the point that I wanted to make on that. Now, let's go to the book of Numbers. That's what I was thinking about when, when, when the, the Ock was talking about the army thing. It's just by the spirit that Saving Private Ryan's movie popped up in my head. And, and, and it shows you how important that male seed is to carry on the lineage, man. It's really, really simple, but the so-called white man, he didn't gave the world biracial. He didn't told people they multiracial. He didn't told them that you're mixed. You know, all these different things. And that's just not scriptural, man. And when it comes down to it, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob, which his name was changed to Israel or Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue, um, Prince of the Power. He had 12 sons, but they all came from four different women. And a lot of people don't actually know that. And that goes off into, you know, uh, 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 Israelite men, we, we had multiple wives. And it's, it's nothing wrong with that. That's, it's nothing in the scriptures that'll tell you that um, it's wrong to have multiple women. Now, women can't have multiple men. That's just the way that the Lord set it up. Don't get mad with me. Take it up with the Lord. But anyway, let's go off into the book of Numbers. Let's see how the progenitor or the, 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 the seed line goes. Numbers chapter 1, I'm going to start from the top, verse 1. It says, Yahweh and, and Yahweh spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. See that? It says by the house of their fathers, not the house of their mothers. It says by um, every male of their poles, not every female of their poles. You see? Because you really even, I mean, it's women that are mentioned in the scriptures. Don't get me wrong. The women are very important. But when it comes to seed, men carry seed. Women are like earth. They're like ground. The men plant that seed into that ground. He plows basically as he's grinding her. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, it, it, that just is what it is. It's planting. He's planting a seed. He's putting in that work. <laughs> you see, spiritually and physically, it, it, it's, it's kind of, it, it goes together. He lands, he lays that seed in, into that ground, plants it. And, and that's another thing too, hey. <laughs> there's a such thing as planting your seed in the wrong ground. You have a damn rotten plant, man. And some of these wicked ass children come out. Anyway, another lesson. But that's what a man plants that seed into the woman, which is earth. She, she brings forth that seed, you know, after the nine months or ten months or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and a seed is born. The seed is there. You can't just plant seeds, watermelon seeds, and you getting cucumbers. It's the same thing with the male. It's the same thing with the man. Whatever that seed is, whatever that man is, that's exactly what that child is because he carries the seed. And like I said, again, America has mixed people up into thinking that there's a such thing as biracial, multiracial, um, a mixed. You hear these people talking about, I got that and be proud of it, too. You know, you get 13 different people. How you 13 different? You know, I'm Irish. I'm part Polish. I got three thirds of Japanese. I got a quarter of Chinese and people be, be proud of that shit. No, you are exactly what your dad is. Straight up. It just is what it is. Okay. Now, as it, as it reads on, it goes off into the tribes. It says from 20 years old and upward, 
all that are able to go to war, go forth to war in Israel. Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And it's not like how it is over there in Israel right now with no damn women in the army. When no women in the army uh, of, of Israel, man. That's going off. Them people are not representing <laughs> the proper way. They're not the people, man. They're going off. They do not follow the scriptures. We're no women in no damn army, man. Women do, do, don't have no place. They, they're not supposed to be in no, no position of, um, of, of fighting like that. They're not supposed to be in no position of an army, man. Just is what it is. We call it straight, man. Verse 4 says, And with you there shall be a man of every tribe. See, that it says a man of every tribe, not a woman. Everyone head of the house of his fathers. See that? Not the house of his mothers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you. See that? It says the men that shall stand with you, not women. It says of the tribe of Reuben. And then it goes off into the tribe's names, right? You have the tribe of Reuben. You got Simeon. You got Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, Ephraim, Benjamin, you know, so, so on and so forth. You're not going to see no women off in there that, that's, that's giving you. Now, with the Israelis over there in the land of Israel right now, those, you know, those people, they'll tell you that they're Jewish by their mother. Mother don't have no seed. She's not carrying the seed. That's not how that goes. The seed goes through the mail, man. See, that, and that lets you know how backwards they are because they, they turn the scriptures upside down. That's how you know you're dealing with Satan, man. Damn devil, man. A damn uh, uh, deceiver. If they're telling you something, you, you might need to flip it around. Straight up. Because the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. If they're telling you something good to eat, you might not want to eat it. <laughs> if they're telling you, you know, get eight hours of sleep every night, you might not want to even get eight hours of sleep. Telling you to drink eight glasses of water every day. You might not want to do that. You might want to get away from anything that they have to say. Now, they do. They, they, they will tell some truths, but overall, it, it, it's overlaid with a bunch of damn lies, man. You can't trust these people. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Saving Private Ryan. And you can go off into this story. Um, this is the history uh, channel. I just typed in, you know, why did Private Ryan had to be saved, basically. And pretty much overall, it was to carry on that lineage, man. Because they do understand that that household, that lineage, it, it, it carries through through the father, man. Can't get around it. It's really, really simple. But like I said again... You got these these Americans, they don't think for themselves. If the so-called white man didn't tell it and shoved it on the man, they're not going to believe it. These people still probably, well, my mama, she, and my grandmama, she was. It don't make no difference, man. <laughs> it goes by what, the, what, the, what the, the male was or is. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.